Okay, we're recording. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so the question is, is it possible to recover from food addiction through the 12 steps and through deep spiritual connection with God? With God? Eat like normal in commas, eat like normal person, or all in moderation intuitively. Though continuous repetition, through continuous repetition of program and spiritual awakening, is it possible to completely rewire your brain? Also, in your view, can people recover from addiction any other way aside 12 steps? Uh, can people recover from addiction through conversion to faith and deep belief in God? Okay, great. Um, so let's try and go this um, from this question and just uh, God, God, uh, deep spiritual connection with God and eat like a normal person, all moderate, mid, moderation intuitively. Now, the thing with, I mean, 12 steps is that uh, my willpower, you know, when I'm in will and have no connection to God, I'm not going to eat with moderation or intuitively. Intuitively is more like coming from a divine space, more like God eating rather than my willpower, self-will eating. And of course, uh, the energy of God, the vibration, the inner connection to the love of God is by its definition, um, uh, life. So all it's like the, uh, the body and the faculties become an instrument of life. So everything becomes orchestrated from a higher energy vibration field, definitely possible through the 12 steps, through deep, deep, it is through deep spiritual connection. It's not through going more into the head and trying to control things uh, and using more, that's not, that's not gonna work. So absolutely, yes, uh, through community and spiritual awakening. You know, th these words, um, eat normally. Well, you see what's happening as you work the 12 steps, especially ferociously, is um, the thing in you, you know, usually there's a thing in addicts in early recovery is that they want to eat normally, meaning uh, they either, they want to get a payoff from food and, and look normal and enjoy their food, but get a kind of an addictive payoff. Um, or um, they want to be able to go in social situations or around people and look like they're normal around their food. Is that possible? Well, yes. Um, uh, however, the more you go into those divine states through working your 12 step program, prayer meditation, all the other aspects, the more it's actually the deletion of the ego. So it's more like uh, that huge connection to the love and peace of God within means that you're now at such a high vibration that things in the world don't give you such a big payoff. Because if you're in you know, a state of infinite peace and presence and love, uh, you're not going to, you know, this thing of trying to get a hit from the world doesn't go. It's more like the world is neutral and you're continuously in a, in a state of presence and flow and bliss and happiness and joy. Uh, and oneness. So, you know, the, the thing of you feeling separate, like an ego, wanting to get a hit or enjoyment out of a thing outside of you, like food, uh, diminishes. And it's more like an effortless orchestration from within. Uh, everything, yes, moderation. So that the moderation and the intuitiveness and the happiness and the joy and the presence of life, as you work the 12 steps and gets to a high level of God consciousness, becomes more you know, it's not about the food. It's not about a you in your head trying to wrest satisfaction from food, but it's more like a inner intuitive divine orchestration and food will be eaten in a life enhancing way. Miracle synchronicities will guide you. And uh, then, you know, more, there'll be more neutrality and less of a, an individual you trying to get some kind of hit from food. And also that as you go more spiritually uh, deeper within through your spiritual connection, you know, the need to uh, people please, I mean, the need to get people's validation around food or what they think of you also diminishes. Rewire your brain. Uh, you know, it, uh, the God rewires the brain through prayer, meditation, aligning oneself with, with God's will to do God's work. God rewires the brain. The ego has not got the power to rewire the brain. Uh, it's more like an orchestration from that infinite power before the brain that, uh, that rewires everything in the brain and the body and, and is the source of all miracles. 
can people recover from addiction through conversion to faith and deep belief in absolutely so here's the thing um generally if you want god with all your heart whatever you call god higher power if you want that with all your heart the worst that can happen if as long as you stay true in your deep heart and your intention is that you choose non-integrous uh spiritual paths and teachers and even if you do uh, you just go off in the wrong direction for a while but God knows, God, God knows what's in your heart and you will eventually be directed to the right, you know, groups like 12 Steps, Course in Miracles or Hawkins and um, who are true, true pathways to God. And, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, in my spiritual exploration days, I did go off in a few wrong tangents as I was seeking God. But it was like I really wanted God and God eventually sh showed me. And it was like, you know, there were some things in my ego which didn't really have the spiritual discernment or, and were too naive to tell a true pathway from a false pathway. But that's another story. Absolutely. So can people deep, it doesn't have, it could be in 12 steps, Course in Miracles, when it's deep in your heart, you know, there, an inner guidance and orchestration starts to come. Of course, in the early days, your ego can mislead you and there can be, uh, you know, wrong, wrong pathways, but generally you will get there. Uh, People sometimes, if they have really, if, if, if the conditions are right, can have mystical experiences and, and let go of their addiction without anything. And I've met some of these people and it was their time just to have uh, these mystical experiences and you know, suddenly all kinds of things fall away uh, and addiction. So that can happen through faith or can happen through any spiritual pathway or religion. Uh, and when you get connected to those deeper states, you see that you can discern the absolute truth in any teaching from that which is false. Uh, deep belief in God will take you there and, and then beyond belief. I want to, okay, um, so I think that was the question. Um, yes, so, you know, I think uh, the thing with the faith is just that you, you hold it uh, in your heart that you want God and whatever you're doing, that deep intention uh, will will lead you there from within and through synchronicities from without. Okay, I'm going to.